snap back into shape soon after having a baby. But now stars like Teresa Palmer and Giselle Bunchen are boasting about the ease of their natural and drug-free births on social media. So is this just another unrealistic example that Hollywood is setting? Holly Wainwright and Karen Phillip are here to discuss. Now, Holly, you've written uh, quite a tongue-in-cheek blog calling this a competitive sport. So tell us what you mean by that. Well, we were inspired by Teresa Palmer's um, birth announcement on Instagram where she, she was specific that she'd had a natural birth. And this followed um, Miranda Kerr's when she'd said that she'd had no drugs after a long and arduous labour. And Giselle Bunchen, who even went as far as to say that her natural home birth didn't hurt in the slightest, which mm -hmm. I think is just further evidence that supermodels are a different species. <laughs> um, and although obviously these celebrities have every right to be proud of themselves for giving birth, as every woman does, um, we're just a little bit sick of this sort of setting this standard that if you do, for whatever reason, have a different kind of birth, that maybe it's somehow not as worthy, not as, um, not as perfect. Mm. And that certainly was borne out by some of the reaction we got from the story. Karen, you, you think there's nothing wrong with this type of bragging online, that it's, that it's okay to post well, it? Any woman has the right to put online or, or share with anybody their experience. Now, the, <laughs> the experience that Holly's talking about, I think a lot of women would find that very questionable, the validity of it. But generally, if you've given birth, then you want to share it and celebrate it. If it's been an easy birth, great, put that in. If it's been a difficult birth, post that as well. Don't just post the, this is so easy and great, because I think most women, particularly those of us that have had children, would not really believe it anyway. Well, that's the, the question, isn't it? I mean, and, and we know celebrities like Giselle Bunchen, uh, Miranda Kerr, I think when she posted, uh, you know, about her birth, they might not be intentionally making other women feel inadequate, but isn't that the end result? Well, it seemed, well, some of the reaction that we had from the post was quite sad. I mean, some people said, oh, you know, it's outrageous that you're saying these women can't be proud. Of course they should be proud. But the thing is, is that a lot of women who did plan to do the whole Miranda themselves and have the scented candles and the no pain relief may have ended up for lots of different reasons having an emergency C section. C -section. Yeah. And they'd say, oh, it, I felt like I failed. I felt shame around how I had my baby. It took me a long time to recover. And that's really, that's really sad. And so, of course, people should share birth stories. Birth is a big deal. But um, I don't know that for people who you don't know, for a, for a wide audience, people that everybody looks up to, that that is what they should necessarily be selling above just the arrival of a healthy, beautiful baby. Mm. So Karen, do you think celebrities should have some sense of responsibility about not bragging? Well, look, they should. Of course they should. Celebrities should have a sense of responsibility in many areas. Are they going to? Perhaps not. So I think it's up to the public to read in between the lines at times and to to realise that they don't have the nutritionists and the, and the trainers, they don't have the meditation people come in, they don't have the hypnobirthing people come in. And a lot of the celebrities have access to all of that, whereas we normal mortals don't. Mm. Simple as that. We mm. have to go to work, we have to look after perhaps younger children, do the, do the housework. So we're living a life, whereas they're preparing perhaps for nine months. And I think that's a big difference. Mm. They, they, they can be very, very prepared. Mm. And while we can be, we're prepared in a different way. Mm. So having a natural birth, I mean, what does that actually mean? What does mean? it mean, exactly? Yes. I mean, you know, my, my friends, my family, they, they've had children. Uh, a lot of my girlfriends that I'm very close to, I haven't. But I read those comments and I go, please. Yes. Really? But it's also just so much focus on the birth and I think that that is something that when you've had a child and then maybe had a second child, you realise that's not actually the main game. You know, the, the hard part comes afterwards and it's awful that women should feel like a failure just after they've given birth when there's a lot of time to feel like a failure when you're a mum. Exactly. 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 But the fact is when we hold our babies for the first time, I think a lot of that should just disappear anyway. So that surprises me why they are the saying so much in the media. Retrospectively yes. going back there. Yeah, once we hold that baby, regardless mm. of you know what? what sort of birth it's it was. It's being perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you very much for that, ladies. Anybody out there who's had a baby, well done. That's all I've got to yes. say, David.